kiss for you. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Welcome to my another video on Android app development. And so, guys, this will be the part three of my video series on app to app calling using Cinch SDK and Firebase. Okay, guys. So in our previous part, we had created created the project and also we created the Firebase. Uh, the uh, we created the Firebase uh, project in the console and. Uh, as you guys can see that I, I have changed my Android Studio version because uh, that version was creating a lot of problems for me so I changed it and now we have this uh, project in this Android Studio 2.3.3 and here you can see we have this name and email uh, here sorry this will be uh, sorry email let me change it and here we have the login button so we have got this main activity and we already have integrated the firebase google that services dot json so let me show you the firebase console so here we have this console so first of all you need to go to authentication then you need to go to sign in method and you uh, have to enable this email and password uh, authorization after that you just need to uh, open your main activity and here we have already set up or bind the edit text then after that we can have um, okay so here we can uh, create a method login and just import by by pressing alt enter and here inside that we can uh, login the user so first of all we need to integrate the firebase so in order to integrate the firebase we will just include the dependency for our auth and database so we will just copy that and we will go to our build.gradle and inside that we can write implementation sorry compile and after that we also need the database so we can say we will just copy it and paste it here and now we need to click on sync now so guys in this video we will only do the login part of the user so in my next video i will be doing the database part of that we will be installing the user information inside the firebase real time database and after that we will start working for our cinch sdk all right so okay so now it is easily integrated so first of all we need the firebase auth so here we can say firebase auth And here we can simply say auth equal to firebase auth dot get instance and after that we can say uh, we need to have uh, we need to, to be here and here we can check if okay so here first of all we can get the email and password so we can say email equal to edit text one dot get text dot to string and similarly for the password field we can say edit text to dot get text dot to string and now we can check if email dot equals empty if email is not equal to empty and the password is not empty or we can say password dot equals empty and now here we can say auth sorry okay so here we can say auth dot sign in with email and password and here we will first of all write the email then we will write the 
password and then we can have the listener for the add-on complete listener and here we can say new on complete listener and now inside this on complete method we can check if the task is successful so we can just uh, open another activity else we can say that user could not be logged in all right so after that here we can have this uh, inside inside this button we can uh, use the on click method and we can say login okay so after that we have this mm, and now we can create the okay so first of all let's rename the main activity and let's name it as let uh, click refactor and go to rename and you can rename it as login activity and click on refactor Similarly for the main activity here you can refactor it and you can say activity slash login and click on refactor. So after that after the user clicks on login so first we need to open the uh, main activity so here we can create a new active empty activity and name it as main activity now click on finish. and here now inside this login activity we can open the main activity so for that we can use intent go to new intent and we can say login activity dot this and main activity dot class and we can just start the activity and okay okay guys so i think that is enough so in our in our next part of the video we will be doing the database part and also the reg registering part all right guys so i hope you have liked the video please like share and subscribe goodbye